Welcome back. Today we are exploring along uh, River Renzo and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can find. <laughs> Actually, I found something, but uh, you'll see. On the go again, <laughs> while the wife is out uh, somewhere picking berries. So, uh, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the goal today is to get down to that river, and uh, but I'm not going to dive in it. Wow. Could be better for a photographer to find an old rusty bridge with uh, old weathered uh, planks and the works. What the photographic find? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to cross. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to cross here. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, that gets set. Trying to figure out how to do this. Um, Pick you up and I'll explain. Yeah, so uh, a quick run back to the car to uh, fetch the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's me. That's me. So, yeah, let's do this. And now for the usual Fafri with lens covers. <laughs> That sun shines and <laughs> all that uh, good stuff. It's very windy, so all the leaves and branches are in motion. So uh, I'm gonna need a quick shutter speed. Or I'll just have to wait. <laughs> Well, the two. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, too slow, so I have to up the ISO. So I'm at F9. I'm getting uh, like one sixtieth of a second. So, uh, up the ISO, perhaps to 400. Uh, that gives me about one to one two hundred of a second. If you're wondering what I was listening to, it was I was listening to the sound of the for the sta stabilizer because it's quite loud on these uh, older uh, 2405 Canon lenses. So yes, image stabilization uh, with this uh, Seven Artisans adapter that I got on uh, can be a little bit quirky, but uh, it will work. What? One at base level ISO. Um, F9 and 24 millimeters, which means I should get away with 150th of a second actually.
found another angle. So where you see the uh, the angle I was aiming for, approximately uh, something like that. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, see if I can get this from um, from uh, the river bank and maybe get the uh, get the river uh, <laughs> get the bridge like head on. So. Uh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, we'll try that. <laughs> Just scared the living daylights out of some German tourists that was hiking. <laughs> I came out of the bushes and uh, just as they were passing. <laughs> I guess I would have been scared too if somebody came out of the bushes onto the path carrying a black tripod in their hands. Still trying to get down to the river, but the river bank is so high. so on this side so may have to uh, go back and uh, cross at the road bridge but I'll have a look down here and see what I can see yeah but I uh, can't even see the bridge from from here Maybe from from down there, uh, but I probably have to be. I probably have to be down there. Yeah, don't focus on my finger. Down there. <laughs> so, well, I went uh, four meters and I could see the bridge, and <laughs> it's just so much uh, foliage. Um, so I've decided to uh, get down to the to the river. Hope I can get up again. <laughs> so here we go. Wow. <laughs> yeah, feeling about five years old again. Ninety-five is probably closer to the truth. <laughs> Managed it. Ooh. Don't want to drop all the way in. <laughs> yeah. the bridge okay the last bit <laughs> the bridge is down there and uh, probably going to use this rock here as a foreground there, there yeah, there's the rock yeah and use that as a foreground interest and put myself somewhere under that uh, overhanging tree uh, and uh, use a long lens perhaps i don't know we'll see maybe the 105 millimeter that's on it is enough yeah let's go i'm going to get what I think. Yeah. I can just about manage. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Okay. 
yeah then it's to figure out how to to do this so but let's get this heavy camera bag off there you go well at least my butt crack isn't visible <laughs> I think I'm going to use a circular polarizer for this. So. And uh, I recently purchased this uh, um, KNF concept uh, filters, the filter system. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it comes with, uh, yeah, yeah, it comes with uh, with uh, two ND filters, an ND8 and an ND64, a circular polarizer, and uh, the ma uh, magnetic uh, adapter ring. <laughs> so it's a magnetic uh, filter system. I like it, but. Uh, I shouldn't have to buy, <laughs> uh, there should be a set with the, the ND1000 because there's another set that has got the ND1000, a UV filter, uh, the magnetic ring and uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, and, and the ND1000 filter cost us the same as that set, well at least uh, that's what I paid for it. and. Uh, so, so I got both sets <laughs> and uh, uh, just and, and only because I needed the, the ND1000 as well but uh, yeah it's a little El Stupido I think um, it's not uh, certainly not uh, very customer friendly you're just forcing us to buy. So, uh, and also the the filters should be color coded or something so you can find them in the in the pouch. That's a free free idea for you. And, uh, yeah, there's the circular polarizer. And I didn't need I didn't need a, a tele. The uh, 2405 was more than enough, so I think, for this composition. Um, yeah, let's just slap that on there. Uh, let's compose and uh, get this done. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna expose for this guy, I think. Uh, yeah. For some reason I'm infatuated with uh, photos taken from low down at the moment, so...
Okay, hungry and my lunch is back at the car, so uh, I'm going to retreat. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, that's it, but uh, remember to hit like and subscribe, it means a lot to me. Thanks for watching.